Hello and welcome to Mystic Mia Tarot. This is a reading for the Taurus Collective. It is timeless. Whenever you come to it, it's the perfect time for you to hear the messages revealed. There are deliberate items in the frame. I do have the four elements represented with crystals for earth, flowers for air, water in the vase for water, and a candle burning for fire. The artwork is original. It is a South American bird. I'll have to look up the name. I can't remember, but if interested, see info in the description box. I've pre-shuffled several different decks and laid out a Celtic cross. And <clears throat> this reading is meant to be listened to as opposed to watched. Please forgive the background noise. There are children in this house. And um, we're gonna start off with a card that could represent the astro sign of the person on your mind. And also will set the tone for the reading. So um, the card that I pulled is the chariot could be dealing with a cancer or someone with cancer in their placement. And um, I'm gonna prop that card back here. If I do wanna show you a card, I'll just let you know. I do appreciate your likes, comments, shares, subscribes. Thank you so much. And uh, so anyway, the chariot. I got the chariot yesterday for Aries. Um, as well. So apparently this is a time for action. Uh, perhaps the person on your mind is coming towards you or you're going towards them very quickly. Um, this energy can sometimes be out of control. So um, I always describe it as like you're skiing down the mountain and suddenly you're going so fast that you lose control. And that's sort of like this chariot energy. It can also indicate being of two minds of something because there are two horses. Usually there's one white and one black. And that can indicate, you know, two different directions. And maybe you're pondering which direction to go in. And um, so that's the current uh, energy that's going on right now. The next card I pulled is a card to represent you, Taurus. And the card that I got is Gilbert and George from my art historical deck. And I'm gonna read about them because I forgot to review before I started. I did just show the card. It's very colorful, very um, primary colors. Um, kind of reminds me of like the colors of Christmas or even like color blindness. I know sometimes people who are colorblind see red um, or don't see red and only see green or, or don't see green and only see red. So maybe there's um, something you're not seeing right now. Um, Gilbert Proch and George Passmore have waved the banner of art for all since their collaborative debut in 1967 with works addressing sex, religion, politics, and social taboos through an aesthetic of something hallucinatory pop. So um, perhaps you are um, expressing your political views or your religious views uh, very publicly. And um, as I said earlier, perhaps you are not seeing things clearly right now. And the card itself says, be the art you wish to see in the world. Your work should not be selfish and dress the part. All right. So let's get into the Celtic cross at this point. 
starting off with the page of swords in your present position. So this can indicate like incoming communication, which, you know, we already talked about uh, a fast moving energy of moving forward. Um, so perhaps you'll get a text or you're going to text your person um, and there could be a talkative energy between you and um, maybe you're feeling very energized and ready to uh, meet up with your person once again. You're crossed by the Five of Pentacles reverse, which is a card of coming in from the cold. So again, this is like you're coming back together, you're gonna to talk and um, come in from the cold. I don't know where you live, but right now it's quite cold outside and uh, I am so looking forward to the spring. You are crowned though by the five of swords and fives are conflict or change. And in this card, um, it's like one person has defeated their opponent and they're holding three swords and the opponent is walking away. So uh, this can also indicate lying, deception, betrayal, and so that's crowning. So you, you know, ought to be cautious uh, with, with this person, Taurus, um, because there could be some sort of secret betrayal. Uh, and when you're rushing forth with that chariot in energy, it could be that, you know, you're kind of leaping before you look. So just be aware there are there is some um, deceptive energy crowning the reading. In the distant past, there was injustice because you have the justice card reverse. Uh, so perhaps the connection didn't start off on fair footing. Uh, hence that crowning card is a continuation of a, a unsteady foundation. There could be some sort of dishonesty in the, you know, foundation of this relationship. In the recent past, you have the two of pentacles reversed. So there's a, a failure to make a choice. Sometimes this indicates like someone juggling more than one relationship. So maybe that dishonesty in the past was maybe this person um, is juggling and failing to choose one or the other. So just be aware of that, Taurus. In your future position, you have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So this is a card of uh, waiting indefinitely. Perhaps the investment you made in this person isn't yielding the results that you were hoping for. Um, and you may be ready to give up. Some other astro signs on the table are Taurus, Aquarius, Libra, Capricorn, and Taurus. In your environment, you do have the King of Swords. So this is a card of someone who is brutally honest and um, very level-headed and, you know, this is an ideal partner if you're looking for someone who is honest and true and real and not, you know, it's one that doesn't sugarcoat their words. Perhaps this is representing you, Taurus. It is a late Taurus, early Gemini card. So you're coming um, into your truth. And your person is seeing you as uh, the Ten of Pentacles reversed. So they're seeing like um, the, this hope of um, a committed relationship. They're losing hope in it uh, for whatever reason. Um, <clears throat> there's a lack of stability and uh, even financial setbacks. Maybe they see that, you know, maybe they thought you had a lot of money and you're not as wealthy as they thought, um, which 
you know, if someone's trying to get with you for your money, that's a huge red flag, right? In your hopes or fear position, you have the Nine of Cups reverse. So this to me is sort of the happily self-satisfied single person. So um, perhaps you are feeling sort of like, you know, take it or leave it with this person. Um, seems like they are a little shady. And maybe you're like, you know what, I'm good on my own. Um, you could be hoping that they're your wish fulfillment, but, you know, if they're not, you're perfectly okay by yourself. And in the outcome, you do have the death card in reverse. Death card can represent endings or transformation. When it's reversed, it can also mean like a resistance to change or unable to move on. So, um... Perhaps, you know, you're, you're starting to see who this person is, but even still, like you, you're having trouble moving on from them. Um, you are perhaps also considering revisiting the connection. Let's see. I'm going to use my Zodiac Tarot to clarify a little more. We'll get the energy of the person on your mind toward you your energy toward them and then the outcome of the current energetic cycle which ends at the next full moon why because i said so <laughs> um i just feel like it's a good time uh, i think it's about two weeks away maybe a little less and uh other signs on the table are virgo pisces and scorpio Like, seems that, you know, you're coming at this relationship with honesty and uh, this person may not be. So just be aware of that, Taurus. some repeating cards. Okay. So they have the world reversed, the six of war, six of swords reversed and the queen of cups. So they definitely have a lot of love for you with the Queen of Cups. And um, they may want to return to you with the Six of Swords reverse. Sometimes though that can be some sort of regression um, and they, they may wanna revisit this, this relationship with the world reverse. So it looks like our return is, is imminent. Uh, and in your energy of the Seven of Pentacles, this time upright, the King of Cups and the Devil. So with the King and Queen of Cups, that's a divine pair. And as far as romantic, you can't get any more romantic than that. That is sort of like the Hollywood couple riding off into the sunset on the back of a white stallion. And so you both seem to have love for one another. You really want your investment to pay off with that seven of pentacles, uh, but you could fear that there's toxic toxicity in this relationship with the devil. You could feel very, um, uh, you know, lusty towards this person. There could be a, some sort of sexual element to the connection. In the outcome, you have the hangman, the eight of pentacles and the 10 of cups reversed. So there's been a sense of suspension. 
Um, but it looks like, you know, you want to work on this. You both want to work on this with the Eight of Pentacles. But, you know, the Ten of Cups may not really be possible because it is in reverse. You know, perhaps you want the Ten of Cups with them, but something is lacking in the connection. And um, there's a lot of good here, um, but there's also some toxicity and um, perhaps that's why the Ten of Cups is sort of um, elusive. We'll get a bit more clarity with some bibliomancy. I'm going to use this novel by Carlos Castaneda. So please quiet your mind, Taurus, and I will ask a question from the universe, to the universe, I should say, regarding your situation. Mr. Acosta gave me last minute instructions. He said that he would let me know by a whistle that resembled a bird call when the king vulture was flying around and when it had landed so as to keep me informed and prevent me from fretting or getting impatient. Then I heard them pulling down the tent followed by their horses galloping away. It was a good thing that they hadn't left a single space open to look out from because that's what I would have done. The temptation to look up and see what was going on was nearly irresistible. So hopefully that resonates in some way. I find it interesting that I just mentioned uh, a horse galloping off and then we get that once again and we started with the chariot. So sometimes when we are communicating with source through tarot and other uh, oracles, the messages repeat just so that they are driven home. Um, just want to mention the tower card is on the bottom of the deck of the clarifying deck. So there could be some sort of um, drastic change coming um, and just prepare yourself for that. I did pull a card to represent the person on your mind to provide a little uh, further clarification that this reading is indeed about them. And the card that I pulled from my Celebrity Love Oracle deck is Jay-Z. I'm showing the card. So your person could be um, African-American or have brown skin. Uh, they may have sensual lips. Uh, there could be another person at play because there are two people pictured in the card. Um, they could be uh, very powerful and very confident and musical in some way. And um, the card itself says, avoid one-off deals or else make sure they are really worth it. The right partner is the one who can match you and then some. And who's gonna help you run this town tonight? All right, Taurus. Well, thank you so much for being here. It means the world to me. I really appreciate it. If this reading resonates, please like, comment, share, subscribe. I will finish off the reading with a yes or no question to the universe. Uh, so please quiet your mind and I will ask my crystal ball. Don't count on it. Okay. Well, Taurus, again, thank you so much for being here. Please forgive the background noise. And until the next reading, may the source be with you.